Hi guys, it's Marietta. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a special guest, Hanka G, my dear friend, and she's a superstar uh, from Slovakia. She's Thank you. She's <laughs> winning jazz singer, the most admired jazz singer. I say superstar. Let's keep it simple, Hanka. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for inviting Marietta. It's a pleasure. Yes. So, uh, what I want to ask you is basically how it all started for you. You are obviously this beautiful superstar, um, super talented from Slovakia. Now you are living in the United States, specifically in New York City, for about three years now. So, tell me, tell us about your journey. Like, what was the motivation, inspiration for you to move from Slovakia, where you were already pretty established? And, um, you know, public person with following audience and so on. And you decided to follow your American dream and move to the United States and starting from scratch. Right. So what, what was the motivation behind it? I think it was definitely the love for the music and the love for the African-American music uh, and the American art form called jazz. Uh, jazz, gospel music and a blues music. So I really wanted to follow the roots of this music and, and uh, come to America and learn from the best people and from, learn from the uh, oldest people or the elders, you know, where I can um, get better, I can understand the purpose of this music and I can work the, with these musicians. I think uh, especially Slovakia is a small country, so it gives you a certain limit and then you have to figure out uh, where can you move. And, and of course, I went to the source of this music and the source of jazz and, and this particular music is, is United States. So, so your dream was basically to move to make it happen in the US because you want to spread your talent, right? And you want to go back to the source because obviously there are more options, more opportunities available for you. So how was the journey? Like since you moved to from Slovakia to United States, how was the journey for you? Like how it... Tell us, like, how was the experience? Because it wasn't easy. I know that for sure. Right. right. Well, um, originally, you know, I always admired um, um, all the artists and amazing singers and amazing musicians. And I did uh, almost a 12-year uh, career in Slovakia in jazz and released three records, actually. The third record was released already when I was in the U.S. So at the beginning, I didn't have an idea I will, be, uh, I will get a chance to even move here. So uh, it, ha it all happened by, I would say, coincidence, luck, uh, or a destiny. <laughs> we'll put it like that. Uh, by me opening up for a two-time Grammy-winning artist and uh, one of the best uh, American legends and singer, uh, Miss Cassandra Wilson, who is a jazz legend. And she opened up in Slovakia, and I opened up for her. Uh, that way we became friends, and we had a little chat about uh, her sponsoring me for the visa uh, uh, for the O1 visa, which is Extraordinary Artist Visa. And that was the beginning of the dream because I haven't really considered it because I knew that it would be really difficult to get into the United States. And since we met, uh, it took me two years to process everything and find out all the information that I needed uh, to come to the United States. And I moved in in uh, August uh, 16, 2016. I remember it very well. And uh, so it's been just three years I've been living over here. And um, it's been very difficult at the beginning, uh, especially culture-wise. Uh, um, I come from an Eastern Europe, and you know that there are big differences, cultural differences between Slovakia and, and America. And uh, I mean it in a good and a bad way, but I think it's also about people and yeah. uh, um, how um, – and culture clashes. So I think that's one thing. Second thing, I came by myself. So – I had I moved into New York, so I was battling with this living stuff, like finding accommodation, uh, being able to uh, equip, being able to function. You know, I had my own flat back at home, so I had to really uh, uh, decrease my um, decrease my um, expectations and living standards. So I really went. Um, I had to be very patient. So I really went down in this respect. Um, so it's been a big challenge and a lot of other, like God was trying me, I would say, for the first one year in all different ways. You know, um, I uh, battled with uh, finding, uh, obviously, concert. I, I battled with finding friends. I missed my family, uh, financial situation. So a lot of uh, stuff that I was pretty well established back home 
I could forget it. I, I started from scratch. Exactly. Wow. I mean, I can so relate. Uh, that's why, obviously, I love you and you are my dear friend because not everybody is able, capable, and and even like not everyone has the 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 willpower, right? Because United States is not for everyone, and I'm saying it like in a most authentic way because I see so many people who want to immigrate here. They want to live their American dream, but they just they are not willing to pay the price. Right. right. And so you obviously are someone who has the willpower, perseverance and persistence to 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 make it happen. And that's why I really admire you and I want people to to hear from you what will be the number one advice you would give to people who want to maybe walk similar path because obviously it's not like i said it's not for everyone right so first of all i think that particular person who decides to um come to united states or immigrate you know under a certain type of visa what's the special qualification how you call it needs to know why i think the purpose is so important you know like he needs to he or she needs to clarify what do i want to do over there or why am i moving and make it really clear because uh you will be asking this question a lot of time when you move here and when you make that giant decision um then another thing would be am i uh ready to give up so many comforts uh that i had back home am i ready to start from the scratch and do i have a good patient Um, you know, you have to be very patient. It takes a long time depending what you're doing. But if you're starting from scratch, specifically when you are an, uh, an immigrant in the United States, it takes a minute, right? So um, that's what I would probably say to all the people. Be patient and uh, never give up. Never give up and go continue like uh, no matter what. Um, you know, a good friend of mine gave me a good ad- advice. He said, um, you know, one... Um, one step uh, at a time and i think that's really true like for new york you know you can't really do so much things at one time so yeah. one at a time one step at a time and absolutely. that really worked for me absolutely every single day move forward take the next step and be patient because if you're not patient and you want to see everything immediately it's just not the path for exactly. you exactly exactly And like you said, like it's so important to be very clear on your why because the why is connected with your purpose. And if you don't know your why, and like you said, you're going to be asking this question, why, 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 so many times. Yeah, there would be failures, you know, they would yes. be, God yes. will test you so many times. There could be health issues, there could be other issues, you know. So a lot of the stuff will be happening along the way and you have to be really strong. And uh, let me tell you, you know, I, I wanted to give up so many times, but at the end I'm here, I didn't give up. And everybody's battling with the same stuff, even people that are here for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. So, Hanka, what is your purpose? Like, why are you doing this? I mean, you know, imagine you, you, you had, like you said, like you were established in Slovakia. People knew you already. You were a public person, superstar. You know, you had your career. And suddenly you moved to U.S., starting from scratch. And what's your purpose? What's behind it? What's your why? Well, basically for me, is it was really, first of all, um, to uh, learn, to learn from the masters. So that's why I came here to the source, to learn from the masters, to learn the music, to understand the purpose of this music, why the masters play this music. And then um, it, it evolved naturally into, I want to make people happy. I want to really sing. I want to share my gift. And this is a gift from a God, right? So yeah, I can do two things. I can ignore it or I can really take advantage of this gift and do something about it, make people happy, make people um, uh, full of uh, hope or full of uh, happiness or love. So to share love and make people happy, that's definitely the purpose. And, you know, whether it's going to be in the uh, United States or somewhere else in the future, I don't know. I keep it pretty open, but This is my purpose. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's a beautiful purpose. Thank so what, you. Are you, what are you working on right now, if you can share with us and people who listen? And maybe people who even want to obviously listen one of your one of your albums or songs, where they can, where they can go and listen. Yeah, definitely. Um, I recorded three records and you can uh, search for two of my records uh, um, on all the different channels, you know, where they sell the music. Uh, Um, you can, you can look through, um, I guess I can't mention any names, right? Or 
iTunes, Spotify. iTunes, yeah, totally. iTunes, Spotify, or YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have so many videos. Was just type in Hanka G, which is H A N K A, and you'll find me and um, on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow me at Hanka G Singer. Um, mm-hmm. That's my name, and of course, I'll, uh, you can also reach out to me if you want to share a feedback. How did you like my music? I'll be really happy to hear back so, from you. So what are you working on right now? What are your projects? If you, can, right. if you want to share with us. Yeah, absolutely. So currently what I'm working on is I'm finishing up uh, my autumn tour that's going to happen in uh, Slovakia, major, uh, mainly in Slovakia, but also in Spain. And I'm planning some more concerts. Uh, so I'm going to bring two really great musicians, both award-winning musicians from the United States. Uh, it's going to be a rhythm section, so bass player and uh, drummer. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be Michael Bowie and Terrell Alexander, and I'm going to pair them up with my long-term friend and composer and collaborator, Andre Krajniak, who is a pianist. And we will uh, play uh, five concerts together um, in Slovakia and one in Venice, in Spain, which I'm really looking forward. It's one of the most prestigious clubs over there. And uh, then I'll continue uh, with more concerts from a project called Walt Whitman, where we have recorded a record with my friends last year in New York in a studio, a tribute to the poet, American poet Walt Whitman, uh, and his poetry sink into the music. So that's my shortest plan. Of course, I'm looking forward to see my family in Slovakia. And I'm working continuously on getting more concerts and festivals in the United States as well. So if people want to see you uh, in New York, where, like, how do you typically announce, like, if they want to come and, and hear you out? Definitely. Great question. They can follow me on Benz in Town mm-hmm. or check my website. So Benz in Town is the best application. As you know, you can look up your artists over there and follow them. And every time they announce a concert, mm-hmm. you get a notification uh, by the application on your phone. So they can find me at the Benson Town, follow me, and I announce all the concerts over there. Or at the website, uh, www.hankag.com. Perfect. Hanka, do you think you are living your American dream? Uh, good question. I think I'm uh, about to, I'm about like to start a really good start, you know, because the first three years have been really shaky and getting to know everything. And I think I'm finally like stable, I understand the culture and I understand the moves. And now I feel like, yes, this is like the full force uh, that I'm starting to, um, that I'm starting to like work on it with more. You are, you, you are about to entering the phase of uh, the American dream. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can see that for you. <laughs> well, I absolutely enjoy talking to you. Thank you so much for coming and inspiring my audience. And um, I will definitely share your link so people can follow you and, and they can listen to your music uh, and your beautiful voice, which is definitely a gift from God. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you for shining your light. You are amazing. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. For those who are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.